Hello everyone and welcome to another Vector Inc. tutorial brought to you from the official Vector Inc. YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Vector Inc. to design a hamburger icon from scratch. So, without further ado, let's dive in. Head over to VectorInc.io and tap on New Document to jump into the canvas or you can follow along using the Android app. And once you're in the canvas, we're going to use a default document preset. I'm going to zoom into the canvas a little bit. You can zoom in holding down Option and Mouse Wheel if you're on Mac or Alt and Mouse Wheel if you're on Windows. And then from here, we're going to tap on the Rectangle tool. And we're going to place a rectangle onto the canvas like so. You don't have to use my exact dimensions. Just drag a rectangle across the top like so. Then from here, you're going to tap on the selection tool. And we're going to duplicate this rectangle. So with the rectangle selected, tap the duplicate button here at the bottom left. And then we're going to resize to duplicated icons. So that way it's half the size of the first. Okay, and it should snap into place. Just to snap to half the size of the first. And then we're going to drag that new rectangle down so that way it meets the bottom of the first rectangle. She should have something like this here. From there, we're going to tap on this new rectangle and we're going to hit duplicate again. And we're going to drag the newly duplicated rectangle below that one, like so. Then we're going to tap duplicate again. And we're going to drag the new rectangle below that one. And then we're going to do it one more time. Tap duplicate and then drag that one down below as well. Now from here, we're going to select the middle rectangle and then we're just going to bring it down about reduce the size about a third. Now from here, I'm going to tap on that first rectangle, then tap on the corner tool, activate the corner tool and then tap on the top handles, the top two handles of the rectangle. And you're going to drag all the way down until it stops and then release. And then tap on the next rectangle, tap on all four corners, and then drag all the way down as far as you can go, and then release. And then tap on the third rectangle, all four corners, select all four corners and drag all the way down, and then release. Do the same for the fourth rectangle, select all four corners, then tap and drag all the way down, and then release. And then lastly, for the bottom rectangle, you're only going to tap on the tap the bottom two corners and then tap and drag all the way down, and then release. Now from here, activate the selection tool, select the second rectangle, and then we're going to bring that up so that way it meets with the bottom of the first rectangle halfway. Okay, so it should snap into place. And then you're going to grab that third rectangle here and then you're going to drag that up to where it meets with the second one like so. And then you're going to grab that fourth rectangle, drag it up to meet with the third one. And then this one you're going to drag to meet halfway. You're going to drag up halfway past the uh, fourth rectangle like so. So what we're going to have is our top button here, our ketchup our cheese, our meat, and our bottom bun. Okay. So from here, let's go and select our color palette. So tap on the fill color option and let's open up the color palettes, go into the color palette library, and I'm going to select the second color palette right here. All right, once you have that selected, hit the X to get out of there. And then actually let's add to this color palette. So let's go back into the color palette and I'm going to press the plus button on the orange. I'm going to tap on that new color and we're going to make this new color a dark brown. So let's just use the color wool to bring it all the way down to the right bottom right until you get a good dark brown like so. And I hit the hamburger menu to close that. And then we're going to hit the plus on the orange again a few, well, just once, just once is fine. So this is going to represent the color of our bun. This is going to represent the color of the ketchup. This is going to represent the color of the meat. 
This is going to represent the color of the uh, cheese or mustard. This is going to represent the color of the lettuce. And this is going to represent the outline. This is going to be the outline, the finishing touch. Okay, so let's close this. Let's start coloring this stuff in. So tap on the top button, hit that orange. Tap on the bottom button, hit that orange. And tap on the top or the second, what, what, what was a rectangle, and hit that red. Tap on the next one, hit the yellow. And tap on the bottom one and hit the... What did I say this was? The meat. Boom. Okay. Then tap on that top of uh, that bun and bring it forward. Yeah. Tap on bring uh, bring to bring to front. Okay. So you should have something like this. And if you're on mobile, that bring to front can be found in the objects panel right here. Just use this one right here. So you should be here at this point. From here, what we want to do is add lettuce. I didn't mention lettuce, right? But we don't have it yet. So we're going to add lettuce right here. It's just going to come out the bottom of the burger right here. Okay? To do so, you're going to tap on the Draw Tool. Okay? And then open up the Draw Tool Properties. And you're going to reduce. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. But I'm going to reduce the, the Stabilizer Length down to about... Four. Okay, that controls that little, you see the little pink line coming out the end? That stabilizes the stroke, and I just want to reduce that down to four. If it was back up, like, at 16, that line will be longer. Okay, I want to bring it down to four because it's, I don't need it to be that long. Okay, so I'm going to delete that, come back into the draw tool, and let's draw this lettuce. And you're just, all you're going to do, this is easy. All right, you're going to bring the cursor up. You can bring it up right here outside of the burger. Come down and then just draw a swig swiggly line all the way across like that. And that's it. That's going to be the lettuce. Okay. From here, hit the selection tool. Make sure it's selected. Okay. Make sure the, um, the stroke is overlapping. The, the, the beginning and end is overlapping the meat and the patty or whatever, wherever you want it. Just make sure it's overlapping the other lines and then tap on the path builder tool. Okay. And then when the when you activate the path builder tool with your lettuce line selected, then we can start basically carving it out of this shape here. So I'm going to tap on this little pencil icon, right, which we call join mode in, in the in the in path builder mode. Um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit, and I'm going to just start highlighting the parts that I want to join. Okay, so I want to get the squiggly lines. You don't want to try not to hit this the the bottom of the meat patty here. You just want to get the lettuce along with the top of the bottom bun, right? And once you, once it's all connected, it'll turn blue. And then hit the selection tool, and you should have something like this in the end. All right, then you're going to tap on that lettuce, and then open up the fill color uh, panel and tap on the green color. So, so far, so cool. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to add an effect here, right? We're going to add a, a, a sort of a drippy, a dripping effect with the uh, meat and the uh, cheese or mustard or whatever this is, right? So tap on this rectangle tool and we're going to have the, the cheese dripping down to the lettuce like so, right? So you're just going to place a rectangle right below the cheese, right? You want it to line up with the cheese. You want to snap into place against the cheese. It's very important. Okay. It doesn't have to be thick. It's just, just regular, uh, narrow sort of rectangle, right? And then tap on that rectangle, duplicate it, and bring it, the duplicated one up to meet the top of the meat patty, like so. 
And let's bring that down a little bit to about right there. Okay, that is about halfway, half of the, half of the cheese. Half of the height of the cheese, okay? So you should have two rectangles like this. Once you have that, tap on the longer one, the first one, and then tap on the corner tool. Select the two bottom corners, tap and drag all the way down to round those corners. And then tap on the other rectangle, tap on the top two corners, tap and drag all the way down. Okay, then hit the selection tool. You should have something like this. Now what we're going to do, we're going to duplicate these two and bring them over here. So tap and drag to highlight, release to select both of these, then tap on the duplicate button. And I'm just going to bring these over here. Right there. Make sure it's all lined up along be between the meat and the cheese. Okay. I'm going to drag these over a little bit. Now, from here, actually, I'm going to drag these. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. So, from here, what we're going to do is we're going to tap on the meat and these two that are pointing upward, we're going to merge these together. Okay, so that's the first thing we're going to do. So let's tap on the multiple, select multiple option here, select multiple button, tap on the meat, tap on that, this rectangle, tap on this one, come over to your Boolean options and tap on unite. Okay, so that should give you something like this. Okay, so select that and hit send to back. Oh, that's too far back. Let's open up the options panel and bring it forward. Bring it forward until you can see these little nubs and make sure the meat is behind the patty and the lettuce. So now from here, you're going to tap on the cheese. And then you're going to tap on path builder. Okay, so just tap on the cheese and tap on Path Builder. From here, activate the Join Mode. And we're going to highlight the left side of the cheese, the bottom. Then you're going to bring your cursor. Oh, I don't want that line. I'm going to delete this line. You want to get this shape here. You want to bring it up and get this shape too. So it should, she should have something like this. Okay. Then you're going to get this shape or this line. Then get this shape, this one, this line, this side, and the top. So you should have something like this. Okay. Now hit the selection tool. Now tap on that bottom rectangle, hit, hit and hit the trash can to delete it. Tap on the other one, hit the trash can to delete it. Now tap on that new white shape and hit bring to front. And we're going to color that yellow. So you should have something like this now. Now we're going to highlight everything. We're almost done here. Highlight everything. Open up the stroke color panel and tap on that dark brown. And then open up the stroke properties and increase the width to about until you're comfortable. I'm going to increase it to eight. And now let's add our sesame seeds. So tap on the rectangle tool and tap on it again to bring up the other shape tools and tap on the circle tool. And I'm going to come to the top of this patty. And I'm going to place a small little oval on top, on top like so. Hit the selection tool to select it. Go to my fill color. I'm going to color this white. I'm going to tap on the stroke properties and set the stroke width to zero. Okay, so you should have a little sesame seed right there. 
tap on that and I'm just going to hit duplicate a few times and kind of just hit keep duplicating them and placing them in random spots at the top of the patty like so. All right, I'll select everything. I'm just gonna, I'm going to bring it, um, scale it down a little bit, and we are finished. We have our hamburger. Hopefully, yours came out as well as this one did. Um, just looking at this is making me hungry, <laughs> and um, so that uh, that right there is our hamburger. We are done here. So that concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it to be beneficial, please hit the like and subscribe to keep this channel growing and to be notified when we release new content. And with that, I will catch you guys next time.